Indirectly, this is an explanation question. We are supposed to provide criticism for the argument. We need to suggest that calling this assertion erroneous is not correct. And how we can do this is by suggesting some explanation for the event mentioned here. Not all people responding identically to a given political situation is just a general statement of fact. This does not lead to any criticism of the argument, nor does it suggest that this assertion here may very well be true. So answer choice A should be eliminated. Answer choice B is a trap. This talks about people showing their patriotism in different ways. However, please see this assertion here is about displaying patriotism through engaging in civil service and therefore people displaying their patriotism differently while it is something correct, it is not relevant to the argument here. Answer choice C compares the population in 1990s versus the population in 1980s. See, the argument is about people being generally more or less willing to take up civil services. So it's about the tendency of overall population. It is not about the absolute number of people willing to take up the services. Since the comparison is about the broad populations and not the absolute number of people, this answer choice is not going to have any bearing on the argument. Answer choice D talks about the proponents of the assertion profiting if the government became more popular. Many problems with this answer choice. Why the proponents of the assertion are the proponents of the assertion is out of the context of the argument. Whether they would benefit if the government became more popular is also out of the context. And most importantly, this answer choice has a crafty and unethical tone. Please be very careful when you see such answer choices on the GMAT. Such answer choices are very rarely correct on the test. Let's confirm answer choice E now. Answer choice E suggests that certain non-political factors weakened people's inclination to engage in civil service and display patriotism. See, the assertion is that an unpopular government tends to diminish people's inclination to engage in civil service and display patriotism. The assertion does not say that unpopular government is the only factor that influences people's inclination to engage in civil service and display patriotism. Popularity of a government may be only one of the many such factors. And yes, thus certain non-political factors contributing to this change in people's behavior may be the actual reason here and therefore to conclude that the assertion is erroneous would be hasty and therefore yes answer choice e contributes to a criticism of the argument made here e is the correct answer choice